been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. <gasps> hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Welcome back to Ace Attorney. We're playing Turnabout Goodbyes. December 25th, 10.08 a.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Merry Christmas. Hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Do I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Oh. Is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax, locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Ooh, boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Hmm? The water pressure's kinda low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? <gasps> Good idea, Nick! Apparently, Feyblood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended, sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Uh, Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes, McMire! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth! What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. You're right. We need more information. Save aimlessness and confusion for later. Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath a waterfall. December 25th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Ah! Hey, Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick? Should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laughing will get mad, or burst into tears. Edgeworth. 
We don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! They're going to help you, that's what! Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky in one or three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick! He's insulting you! Nick! Why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices and the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. M Mr. Edgeworth. You... You didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? December 25th, Gord Lake Park, entrance. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal? There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S so sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot, the trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But, but, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir, he's the one who... Shut up. Just you try saying that again. I'll... I'll... I'll make you sorry if you do. So just... Just get out of my face, pal. Y y yes sir. Detective Gumshoe is kinda scary today. Recruits... Peh. Ah! Eek! Hey, you're that Harry guy, Harry Butts. Right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up? Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened to you? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the... huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gold Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And... and the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? The cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if it's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. R right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do, but the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story, but apparently no one he's been talking to will take his case. But why not? 
Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys shred up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. Uh, unfortunately not. Well, pal, then you got a job to do. Help out Mr. Edgeworth. Prove that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal. Show me your attorney. Who is this witness? Uh, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. Uh, I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out in the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh! It's Christmas today! I'd forgotten! What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. That badge! You're showing me that's the wrong guy, pal. You gotta show that someone who needs it. I believe we have to take the badge and show it to Edgeworth. The, re the attorney's badge. Edgeworth, let me defend you. Ha. Ha ha. Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. W what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lacked confidence. After all, they did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah, he's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost your reputation, he'd be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is... well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal. Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Seal Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I didn't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What, find something? Um, no, sir, not yet. There was a call from the precinct. They want us to want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me about before I head back? Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked out the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually... Say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Uh, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Oh, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. But what Um, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right, now let's get investigating. I'm going to the park now, which is good. December 25th, Gord Lake, Public Beach. Wowzers, this is Gord Lake. Yup. I'm not sure it warrants a wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please! I bet they're great! With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? 
They're a little behind the times, though. Kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. Huh, someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. I see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers, hmm. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh, where'd they go? Into my pocket. Poppers put in pocket. We do actually need those, um, even though they didn't seem like much of a clue. Uh, so boat rental shop. December 25th, boat rental shop. Nick, what is this place? Boat rental shop. Closed to Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats it won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out into one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea, you bet. Not much we can do over there, but over here there might be something we can do. December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. They've got guts camping right in front of a no camping sign. <laughs> This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. You must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool, let's try it out. <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken? D don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Oh, what then? These things? The party poppers? Bang. Well, it responded. Yaw. Hey, you, get your hands off of that. Eek! One the Sam Hill. Look what you've done now. There was a whole roll of film. <laughs> Feels so weird talking like this. Uh, what? Huh? Sorry. Sorry's nice, but don't pay my bills. You all know how much a roll of that film costs. Uh, I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking setting up a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I say those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why, they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb doesn't mean we all are. Nick, help! And who are you now? A chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends? <laughs> just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. Second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. My American accent isn't great. <laughs> but I mean, she's supposed to have one. Like, it's really, it's kind of an important part of her character. Um, what? Can't you see I'm changing the film with my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. And that didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Um. This is the same line of dialogue, I'll just fast forward it. I don't actually. I think I can show, the, show her my badge, maybe? I, uh. This is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um. I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled mean looking things in you. N no, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. 
Murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some corporation. You two, y'all come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? S sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk Yank for you if... If... You, ahem. If it pleases you. Thanks. Thanks, I, I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada Hart. But y'all can call me Lada. I need to photograph in meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet ya. Okay, so we can actually talk to Lotta now. Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. Ah, so? Christmas Eve? A man on a boat was shot. Did you say anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one, not sure though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which one I've seen when. So what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? Haha. <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do ya? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at university, country you. Uh, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell y'all that already? Meteors! Yeah, meteor showers. Falling stars? It's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German-made. A genuine Selingen. Seling Selingen. <laughs> Isn't that where they make knives? Um, so what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? The camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. Programmable camera? Neat! Lotta's camera added to the court record. Well, we have a camera now. Lotta? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Hey, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. Pistol? Right, now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright! Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. We've been a photo taken late last night. I checked him once, don't remember if there was anything on him though. But what if I got something? I could be witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. And I believe what we want to do now is go to the precinct. December 25th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Maya, dot dot dot. <laughs> I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Do you know anything about the victim yet? Oh no, I still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know... I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So, they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow, as scheduled. I 
see. Um, hey, in the end you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes sir. And do me a favour. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe? How come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We've got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigations, so he trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. You've got to earn that trust your places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Autopsy report added to the court record. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Okay, so we have some more useful evidence here. We've got an autopsy report. We've got, we've got a camera. We've got an attorney's badge. We don't have the photo of the victim in here for some reason, even though it's apparently in the autopsy report. We can't look at it, which is weird. Uh, I think we can go back to see if Lot has found any photos yet, so let's go do that. Yep, December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. Hey, y'all! Lotta! Wait up a sec, we got bingo! Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. This is them, take a look. Wait. See? See, he's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. <laughs> Sorry, Lotta. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> A sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. W w wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? T tell us what you saw. Tell us what. Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it does not. Lotta, no. She is white, so that explains that, I guess. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lotta! Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter. I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Lake photo read to the court record. December 25th, Gord Lake, Public Beach. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! Ah! 
Nick, Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and St. Nick. Hey, I see the connection. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. L Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious I'm working my day job? I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl Kiyonse deserves the best. Kiyonse? Not another model, I hope. What's wrong with models, Phoenix? Well, Kiyonse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It's her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That... that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... not my... what? No, no, she's not. She's 17, Larry. What the hell? I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working 9 to 5, having to take care of a little sister. No, no I'm not Nick's sister. I'm, I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh. Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. Hmm? I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, no it's just... Beyonce is not in town right now. She... she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. What's wrong with that? God. <laughs> well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick. You don't mean that Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. But wh why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look, look gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs, you know, like guard dogs? Ouch. The samurai thing was Gyanso's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake with the big news. Big news? Yeah, Gordy. Gordy? So Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, oops, sorry. Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? No, 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 he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant, mysterious monster. Gordy. A monster? Yeah. Check it out. 
This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's really real. Nick, a monster! A real monster! Um, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm. What's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Gordy article added to the court record. Okay, um, we're done talking to Larry. I don't think we can go to the boat rental shop until the next day. Uh, let me see. Aha, December 25th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. What is it? Oh! Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at that office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. December 25th, Grossberg Law Offices. Uh, him. Ah, oh, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You're me as... something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you, you're me as... something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon. You see. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I uh, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Wh who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. But this is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg? Hmm. Whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it is stolen. Suppose it's my just desserts. All bitter desserts. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah. Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? Who was this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond, he was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6, why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. Very strange case indeed. 
You never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who hooked her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, y yes yes quite. Thank you. N no please, D don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. W what? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Mr. Faye's photo out to the court record. December 25th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Um, hang on, we're giving- Edgeworth doesn't have that accent. Blah. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. I made incredible progress in the investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You're always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I'll answer the best of my abilities. The ill sex incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, the suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. There was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond, and that cleared the suspect's name. And it cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the- and Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mum. What? You mean you're... Strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now, this. About to end? The Dale 6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed, forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he's about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so, was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth, he was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. Your attorney's badge. I can't say I really want to see one of those right now. I'm trying to get you to... Uh, whatever. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. 
This case has a bit of the same directionlessness problem that, um... There we go, December 25th. Police Department, Criminal Affairs. What's going on here? Yeek! What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago, says she came to talk to you all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's all this about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? N no, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. So, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too, but you really can't tell from the photo who, who it is shooting. Oh, who, who it is that, that is shooting. Yeah, okay. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of mine, but it should let us see who's who. That's not how enlargement works. That, that doesn't make sense. She can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. Like, it's not going to give you more detail if you make the photo bigger. In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say it sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I overlooked. Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. You still got time, pal. Go talk to him again, for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him, please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, well, we'll go back to the detention center. And try to ask again. No. Uh. How do I ask him? Try showing him some other stuff? I'm sorry, I can't think of anything I want to say about that. No, we already saw this message, so... Hmm. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, he wants to defend you. Yes, will you? Ah, uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request, please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Edgeworth's request put in pocket. Well, I guess we should. What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! Wah! It's coming down. Whew! That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. Sort of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll whip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. 
Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You should go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Oh, okay, well that's the end of, of Turnabout Goodbyes Day 1 Investigation, uh, which is, I think, the longest segment I've had so far in this, in this playthrough. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Anyway, next time, the Day 2 Trial. Look forward to it. Bye!